Huh, and not a moment too late. We're live. Welcome back. Today, we're playing Final Fantasy VI. And last I recall, we were in the ancient castle. We got ourselves, uh, Odin. Old man, old man Odin. Uh, now apparently there's some, uh, some schlickety schlack on over here. We fight a soul saber, soul saber, some sort of chest dwelling samurai man. Don't swipe at me. Don't do it. That's not nice. I gotta give you the he the old heck of my kick. Yeah, you do that to him there. Lock. Go at him, Sabin. Show him why they call you the biggest man in the West. It's because he's got the moves. The purple face moves. Look at him, bubbles coming out his ear. Just, just fuck him up. Just roll around at the speed of sound at them until they stop fucking moving. Look at this awful, awful undersea monster. I mean, it's, we still don't know for sure if we're actually under the ocean, but it's playing the under the ocean music, so I'm just going to make the assumption. Realm gained the level. Did I did I fix the stuff? Did I? Ma oh, good. She's already on it. Already on it. Past me. Knew what the fuck was up. Eight thousand. Nine thousand. More numbers. Man, this game is just like lambasting me with numbers right now. I can't even fucking handle it. Hear my peeps. Muscle Steve. That's what I should have named him. Muscle Steve. Oh god, the poison. I almost forgot. It's not like it was right on fucking screen for me or something. Uh, wow, that did a lot of fucking damage too. That was like four steps and 400 damage. Fuck off. Okay, anyone know Poisana? Good. Anyone got lasagna? Good. There's no lasagna in my inventory. I'm disappointed. And this should be the juicy chest with the big, big battle in it. The big battle man. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Battle Man. Welcome to Doom. Gale Cut. Let's see how he do. He don't do very much. He gonna get the moves put on him by my man Muscle Steve. Don't you hit her. Fucking... Fucking smash your cranium in. Can't handle this man's moves. He's been training these moves all his life. Ooh! I think that's a good sword. I think that's a good sword we just stole. Stole his sword. Stole his girl. Stole his life. He's got nothing. He was hiding in the fucking box! And now he's going straight to hell. Damn, he's still alive. Good for him. I don't know how long that's gonna last though, cause uh, we're... Whoa. Samurai Soul's power increased. Okay, good for you. Stay positive. Unfortunately for you, your power cannot overcome Muscle Steve. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Yeah, you shake and turn red. That's what I thought. I forgot to try to metamorphose him. Turn him into an onion or some shit. Me oh! Oh, the Master Scroll! That's the thing! I think that's the thing that lets you make four attacks. Uh... Where? Where? Yes. Allows the bear to attack four times per turn. That's the thing. Once we find the loaded dice and we just start just fucking jacking Setzer's HP up, he's gonna start uh, shitting out damage. This is why, because I was having a discussion with a friend once upon a time about like who the best characters in Final Fantasy VI were. He was telling me about like Master Scroll on Setzer, and it's like, yeah, it's good. It's really good, but it's like you gotta you gotta be do a very very specific thing to do. It. Whereas Sabin's just like, I'm sorry, Muscle Steve is just like, what's up? He just shows up and then just fucking obliterates everything on screen. And like Terra and Sellys, they're this like especially Terra with her trance. She's just like, fucking turns all white and shit and just like 
fucking laser blasts everything to death with her mind. Wait, there's- wait. Wait, there's a tiny side door. I have to inspect it. The door is a jar. A jar of mayonnaise. And I will not abide by this wayward mayonnaise. I gotta fucking scoop it. I gotta dunk it. Ah, Muscle Steve, why? Okay, it's fine. I still love you, Muscle Steve. But yeah, the jar of mayonnaise. Just fucking dunk your head in, slather it, drink it all. Huff it. There's no power greater than mayonnaise in this world. I know this to be true, for I've, I've peered deep within within the, the, the creamy texture and found solace and salvation. Shit. 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 Wasn't paying it to- Oh wait! He's on Valagarmanda. He already got the right fucking stats for the fucking level! Yes! He's also almost got all the big stuff. All the big stuff. Yeah. Muscle Steve gets bigger every day. Never loses, never runs away. Muscle Steve! Friend to all. Muscle Steve, he'll never fall. Can't fucking handle these muscles. What am I doing? Who's gonna level up? Nobody. Actually, wait, Sabin, aren't you going that warp speed? Yeah, sabin has got the growth egg, so he's just like... <laughs> he's doing like the, the six million dollar man run, straight to level 99. More like the fucking eleven billion dollar man. Shit! I was already in this tiny hole. The mayonnaise lied. My whole life is a lie. A lie filled with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and regret. Which... Fun fact, have the same flavor. Mayonnaise and regret. Uh, sh oh wait, I wanna kill these boxes, cause they're assholes. Uh, these were the guys that like, I don't think... Sabin's like multi fucking moves worked. So I gotta use his, his his single mega move as opposed to his many multi move, if that makes any fucking sense. I mean instead of the AoE shit, single target. The only thing is I can't I can't choose the target for his moves. Muscle Steve knows best. Always trust in Muscle Steve. Lock you son of a bitch, you hit the wrong man. The wrong lizard monster. Ah, more poison. Okay, I got a spell for that. It's called Eat Muscle Steve's whole purple body. He's like Dr. Mundo now. He's got he's like the bubbles that's like from the from the fucking injection in his shoulder and he's just like big and purple. Yeah. Muscle Steve is officially Dr. Mundo now. Sabin learned all the best spells. Good, good, good. Anything that does damage is good for business. Okay, who's got what? You there. Give me the magic. The magic of voodoo. Who do you do? Do what? I I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. I already did this. You're leveling up in like 5,000? 5K? 50 clicks? Wait, wait. I didn't... I gotta do the math on Sabin. On Steve. So that's like 45. That's like 47, 50-ish. So he's gonna hit the next level the fastest. He's gonna, he's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it like Lucifer falling out of heaven, just like <laughs> And then he's gonna be level whatever the fuck. I think this is the secret. The secret way. There's a book encrusted with glittering gems! Holy fuck. Jeez. Who needs to fucking bling up their goddamn literature? Queen's Diary. I fall in love with Odin. It is a forbidden love, I know, but the flames of passion obey not rule or reason. Every time I think of that noble man, my heart flutters and the fans the flames yet more. And who could rightly fault it? When the fighting ends, I shall tell him. I must. Oh, hey, more people appeared. Love between a human and an esper. Wait, wasn't there something in this bucket? Yeah, bucket potions. I thought there was supposed to be some fucking clue. Have I been lied to? There's supposed to be like something, some book on some table or something that's supposed to give me a clue about where to go. Because you gotta like, take some steps. 
around the throne or something, do a dance. Oh man, this man. He actually wasn't that tough last time, so I'm not super scared, but he looks scary. He looks like a big scary robot with like some kind of fucking titty cannons. Wow. I put the moves on him. Or Muscle Steve put the moves on him. Regardless. I mean, we worked in tandem, like I did the motion. Um, and then he did his motion. Oh, that make you know, I just had an epiphany, because the, the motion for the, um, the Phantom Rush is, uh, doing, like, a full 360, like, from left and up and all the way down, and then when he does the move, he spins around the guy. I gotcha, you game designers, you know your shit, or you knew your shit, I mean, like, this game was made originally in, like, 1996 or something, so it's like... Blizzard Orb and a gold hairpin. Heroes ring Gigas Glove. Heroes ring Gigas Glove. Here they be de be de be de be be de ba ba de boop. Take the gale, the gale hairpin. Not the gale hairpin. The gold hairpin. Different hairpins. Gale hairpin does wind magic or some bullshit. I don't know. I think the Blizzard Orb is a thing for Umaro. It's one of his. uh... It's a Yeti specific. Uh, relic. Like, makes him do ice attacks or some shit. Since you can't actually control what he does in actual battle. Aww. Oh, be panicking at this disco. I mean, not really. He he better be panicking at this fucking disco, because I'm coming for him. The muscle move is coming. Still debilitator, but... Oh, that's, uh, that's one of... One of Edgar's tools. Let's just fucking shibble his devils, my dude. Make him squirm. I don't know if a robot can squirm, but if it can squirm, make him squirm. Give him the squirmy wormy. Yeah, Muscle Steve. 15, 1900? Yeah. How much XP have we been gaining for fights? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, fast music! Oh. Uh, can I go in here? Can I go in here? What about... Did I go in here? Man, there's more rooms than I thought. We got... Oh, fuck, I did go in here. That's how I found out about the chest. No, there's like a secret. There's like a secret secret. You got it, like... Two steps to the left, and then... Shimmy. You gotta do the fucking Harlem Shake or some bullshit. I don't know. I just regurgitate things I hear on the internet. Hey, stolen antidote. That's pretty good. I'll use some of those. Did I ever- Well, I guess I must have. I was gonna say, did I ever cure that poison? But, I mean, he wasn't poisoned, and now he's poisoned, so I guess I must have cured- I must have cured him of his mundoism. <laughs> poor- Poor Muscle Steve. Fucking reduced- Reduced to a Mundo look-alike. That's fine. Dr. Mundo's pretty cool. I can use an antidote. Where's the where, no sort this shit? Give me the yeah antidote. Antidote. Tis French, Madame Wazel. We oui, we oui. bonsoir. All right. Uh, enough of whatever the fuck that just was. Uh, he's level 39, so he's almost susceptible to level 5 death again! Those are my favorite times. When someone just, like, farts out a skull and he dies. It's, like, super. Oh, I'm gonna have to look this bullshit up. Fuck! Because there's, like, extra mega treasure or something down there. There's, like, the Raiden thing, which is good. And then on top of that, there's maybe, like, more greatness? Additional greatness in the, in the secret super hole? Cause like, we're already like two basements deep, like you go into the Figaro Castle basement, and then we're in the cave, which is one step below that, and then we're in the castle, which is one step below that, and then we're in like the- Oh. Fuck. Hold up. Uh, yeah, I should actually be paying more attention to this shit. You shouldn't be on this shit. Actually, you should be on this shit, cause you're about to level up, even though you're not learning anything, and I wanna put magic on both of you. So, how close are you to Ultima Prince? Close. Pretty sneaky, sis. Anyway, enough about sisters and sneaking. We don't have shadow here. No sneaking times. Right, the throne. And I don't know if any any of these characters have sisters. At least 
Not not that I know of. Not that not in canon. An exciting time? If you say so. I don't really know. I've just been like rolling shit off my brain. And then and here we are. Yeah, no, I've pretty much been doing this like nonstop since we started. Uh, we dubbed Sab and Muscle Steve and found out he actually looks kind of like Dr. Mundo if he's poisoned. Anyway, Sabin, Terra, roll it up. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up because there's like a secret weird path you have to take to unlock the Mega Basement. And I don't know what it is and I don't know how to find it and I don't want to fucking fart around in here for half an hour looking for it. Uh, what was I doing? Right, who's leveling? Not you. Uh, Locke's pretty close. Do I want to give him... Sabin suplexes what he pleases, except the things he doesn't, which is some of them. Uh, right, I think we were I think we were going HP on lock at this point. Uh, does Mega Art Summer? No, he is. Yeah, he already is. Oh, but I gotta teach some new shit now. Uh, okay, so we'll just leave him there. Uh, Valiger Band. Okay, well, we're gonna lose Odin real quick, so. Lakshmi? Shmakshmi? Old Snicker Snack. But Sequali, mm, this is pretty good stuff right there. That's some pretty good stuff. But, uh, yeah, okay, you go back to Raggles. Old Fraggle Rock, instead of Ragnarok. Yes. That was called the Midgar Zolum, but, like, that was a terrible anglicization. Yes. The Midgard Sormer, which translate as Midgard Serpent, and Midgard's supposed to be the Earthly Realm. Um, so it's like the snake of the world sort of thing. It's, uh, Midgar Stormer is also relatively prominent in Final Fantasy XIV, especially the end of, like, um, A Realm Reborn, so, like, the pre-expansion stuff. He's, uh, in the last dungeon. He's the father of all the dragons, so... Uh, there's seven of them, and I think we know five of them? There's Bahamut, there's Tiamat, there's Hrace Felger, there's... Uh, Nidhogg. There's a fifth one whose name I forgot that like died and started the Dragon Song War when she died, and she was like the the mediator between Hrace Velger and Nidhogg, and so Nidhogg went ape shit. Um, and then yeah, two more that have not appeared in Final Fantasy XIV yet. Oh, Midgard Stormer. Immediately after a force fall that leaves your party with one HP. Yeah, well, Bahamut and Tiamat, obviously. Um, uh, okay, so... Sticky quickie right here while I find out... Ancient Castle, FF6... Uh, World of Ruin, Ancient Castle, gimme, gimme. Gimme the deets, IGN. Gimme the deets. Wing Edge, Gladius, got it, got it. Magicite, Super Duper, Master Scroll, Odin. No, no, with the new Esperant Toe, stand five paces down from the Queen's Throne, the one on the right. To discover a hidden switch that will open up a secret passage in the room where you found the X ether to send the new stair. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So I just go one, two, three, four, five. I did it. Wow, that was way easier than I thought it would be. But fuck, excuse me. Okay. So here, yes. Ah, oh, the stairs emerge. I warned you about stairs, dog. Okay, so the blue dragon's like in here. Are we ready? I heard the blue dragon was like rough, fucking rough McGruff, but we'll find out soon. Top everybody, tippity top. I might want to put on ice shield. No, we fought the ice. No, the blue dragon's like water. He's like walking around. Hiya! Okay, fine. I'll get the riding magicite first. Even the queen was turned to stone. Bummer, bummer drummer. She looks just like Maria, and by Maria I mean Sally's dressed as Maria. From the stone, is that a tear? Turns Odin into Raiden! Odin's magistrate surges with newfound power. Odin becomes Raiden. Yay. Oh, what are we gonna Raiden? Some goody goody, goody 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 goody. Oh wow, it's quite a bit further down. Ah! Quick! That's uh. That's uh, one of the best spells in the fucking game. Also, Shin Zentetsuken costs 30 less MP than Zentetsuken and does the same damn thing. We lose the speed plus one, which is a bit of a bummer because there's no other espers we have that give us plus speed, whereas we have another one that gives us strength plus two, but eh, eh. Wait, did I? Hold up. No, you haven't leveled up yet. Did I, I, I... 
Oh, yeah, yeah, Midgard's armor already teaches 30 plus. Never mind. Never mind. We're cool. Call having to save a woman turned to stone in one of Ken's games, but she was a beloved of a former paladin. Ah. Here, was in the spell. Yeah, well, Ken should have thought of something better. Then. <laughs> it's like, like the thing I told you about the fucking... The, uh, the room that fills with wine in that one dungeon, so you can't use water breathing. Because it doesn't let you breathe wine, it lets you breathe fucking water. Come up with- come up with a smarter problem. Uh, yeah, she's not leveling up soon. Yeah, the room starts filling with wine, and there are wine weirds in it. Um, so this is like, yeah, no, water breathing. Come here, bitch. I've heard that this is, like, the first tough dragon, but... I was reading that in a thing where I didn't see what the order of the dragons that they'd done so far were, so... Tsunami! Uh, just... Oh, fuck! Shit! Uh, oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay, no items. That's fine. Uh, Phantom Blantum. Uh, first things first. Yeah, let's try to morph this man into... an item. Because I know that's a thing that can happen. And that's what he means to get the paladin to return to his faith, everyone. Uh, to the point the paladin is socially first, though, so it was possible at this point. Kill it with light. Oh, yeah, lightning might work. That hurt a bit. Crystal Helm! Give me the crystals. Do I know Thundaga? No. I know a guy who does, but he's also the one who's doing the 999 damage phantom rushes, so. I ain't gonna be doing it here. Why didn't I transfer there the first fucking turn? I'm an idiot. Go, Sabin. Do your spin move. Oh, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. You know, Sabin, watch those. Oh, he's even got the ponytail! Oh, it's fucking Anakin Skywalker all over again. Holy fuck. Yeah, that dragon wasn't. He hit me. He got me one good hit. The percentage is actually different on different monsters. There are apparently some monsters that have upwards of a 50% metamorphosis rate that actually give you good items. Seven's even from a desert, you're right. The only thing is he's not like some poor shit weasel. And is in fact obtained Zantetsukin. Like, the sword? Ew. That's, uh... That is a sword! Not gonna give it to her, cause she wants that extra magic from that enhancer, but... Hoity poity poity, hoity doity toy. That's pretty damn good. You can't wield it?! Fuck! Fuck! No one else here can wield it. What do you mean, is it THE sword? Like, it's- it's one of the... Like, one of the best endgame weapons. See, this game has so many good endgame swords. Because there are so many different people that use swords and, like, different types of swords. So, like, the Zantetsukin is gonna go on somebody. I have two Genji gloves, and they're gonna get used when we're in Kefka's Tower. So... Like, someone's gonna be wielding that fucking sword. They might be Edgar. I think Edgar can probably use it. Okay, so we got everything we need down here, so let's fucking tell a fellow port on out. <laughs> Teleport stone? I think I still have some? Please? Mm, that's a long list of not teleport stones. I could've used them all. I had five, I only used like two. I could have sworn. Why? Well, time to be hitting the old dusty trail. Oh no, there it is. A oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty decked. Well, because I never sold anything. <laughs> I probably should, because I need that 500k for that sweet, sweet Excalibur. 
so we can get old Gigamesh. The Gigamesh. Stronger than regular mesh. Fuck. I was gonna move her over to Raiden so she could start learning quick, but it's like, ah, eh, she's 10 away from re-raise, so. Uh, who's, who's 11? 14, uh, you, not you, cool. Castle not a dungeon, you have to go to the castle dungeon to use it. To take you to the ground floor of the castle. Well, I'm in a, I'm in a castle under a cave, under a castle. I'm two castles deep. Uh, right, and some of you have finished learning your business. You there. You need no Midgard Sormer. You need Jesus. Where's Jesus on this list? Teach him the Jesus magic. And I'll finish off Valgarmanda. Or maybe Quetzal is pretty good. And he can finish Float. Yeah, we don't- there's no deeper than this. We're apparently below the ocean. I've- I've assumed that just based on the music alone. Because this is the undersea trench music. Uh, you barely started learning Lakshmi. Ugh. Finished Valga Malaga. Fine, fucking just keep learning. Wait, what- wait, 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 wait. What are you learning on Lakshmi? You didn't actually look at that. Ah, Kiraga, alright. Core of the world, heart of the world. No, Kingdom Hearts 2. God, no. You'd have to actually pay me to fucking play that on stream. Which is a thing that can happen on Twitch. But... Not now and probably not for a good long time to come. God willing. Wait, did that heal some of us? Alright, oh, I think it's technically fire element and like some of us absorb fire. We're just like, yeah, get fucked. Get fucked, Mr. Laser! Mr. Laser's day out. <laughs> Where he fucking finds a prostitute and propositions her for sex. Uh, hello, I'm, uh, Mr. Laser. And I'd like the, uh... I'd like the round the world, please. Apparently that's what Mr. Laser sounds like. Is Sabin also Mr. Laser? He's the only one who's currently capable of firing lasers. Mr. Laser and Muscle Steve. Muscle Steve just puts on a mustache and then he becomes Mr. Laser. Or maybe, maybe Laser's his last name. Mr. Steve Laser. There we go. There we go, it's official. Sabin is now Mr. Steve Laser. Good. Good. Turns out it's a sting, and he gets arrested and put into a laser prison. Uh, man, I remember when I busted out a laser prison. Fucking a lot of bodies that day. Oh god, there's two of them. Okay, that's fine. Except when it's not, which is probably right now, I'd say. Because uh, I think some of my dudes are levels that are multiples of five, which means level five death will dunk them. Mick Foley from WWF, who had three different characters, Dude Love, Cactus Jack, and Mankind. Guy entered a Royal Rubber once as all three characters. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fucking funny. Didn't I just move Locke off of fucking Midgard Stormer before he was about to gain a level? Like a fucking idiot. Like some kind of fucking rube. Okay, okay. We can still salvage this. We can salvage this situation. God damn, my whole idiot brain. You're banned from ringside. Okay, comes out as dude love. You fool! Good stuff. Alright, let's fight some more lizards and bullshit. Neophyte. Who you calling a neophyte? I'm a fucking. I'm a Trinity fight. I'm a Morpheus fight. Yeah, Morpheus fight. They had a Morpheus fight. Several, in fact. Neo had a Morpheus fight. Agent Smith had a Morpheus fight. That one other random agent on top of that truck in the second movie had a Morpheus fight. Who else did Morpheus fight? I think that might be all the Morpheus fights. I can't think of any other Morpheus fights. He jumped into a helicopter. That wasn't a fight, though. He fought gravity. That... Mm, I don't know if... The, well, since... It was in the Matrix, and the gravity is made by the Matrix. It's like fighting the Matrix. I don't want to fight Morpheus. He had some really good fight scenes, though. Especially the highway fight. 
I don't think so. He was like barely like actually in the Matrix in that movie. He was like mostly out in the real world. He was there at the start. And he was there at the end. I think. No, I'm thinking of the second one where he was there at the end. Cause yeah, that's when the when the, the, the door, the time for the door is right. Did you gain your level? Fucking lazy son of a bitch. Yeah. Warp speed. Warp, 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 warp. Oh, last time we got like a like a fucking reach around attack instead of this fucking bullshit. Oh, instant death boomerang. I like it. Oh, instant death spin move. I like it. I mean, it may as well be instant death because like it fucking slam hammers everything it touches. Then the third one's getting Neo back from the mirror of it. Ah, wait. That was like they like fight their way th like through the crowd and guards up to talk with the Merovingian. And then they like make some kind of deal with the train man or something? I think Trinity puts a gun to the Merovingian's head. And then like everyone else puts a gun to everyone's head. And then the Merovingian's like wife or mistress or whatever is like she'll do it. She's in love. Like, she don't care how many guns you point at her head. Yeah, the train man. Neo is like, you better let me on this fucking train. The train man is like, oh, you don't get it down here. I make the fucking rules. And then Neo tried to get Neo on him, and train man just fucking no-sold him. Yeah, apparently the train man was like an idea they had before they even did the first movie. Um, but it's like... By the time the third movie rolled around, they had too many ideas to, like, all fit into and give the proper time they wanted. Like, the train man was supposed to be a bit of a bigger thing. Uh... And, like, I thought the idea was kind of cool. Then there's What's-Her-Face that makes the sunshine. Or rainbows or something, whatever the fuck she did. The, the little girl program. Uh, who's leveling? Who's leveling? Who's got the levels? Who's got the touch? Who's got the power? The answer is, of course, Muscle Steve! It's always Muscle Steve! Muscle Steve Laser. <laughs> that's his- that's his full name. Steve, Steve is his middle name, Muscle is his first name, Laser is his last name. God bless you, Muscle Steve Laser. Yeah, Persephone! Yeah, that's what she was called. Or Persephone, if you want to be, like, a bit of an idiot about it. <laughs> Sabin Muscle Steve Laser Figaro. Nah, I like Muscle Steve Laser. Muscle Steve Laser. Cause it's, it's kinda like, it's kinda like, fucking, um... Shit, now I can't remember the name. Um... What was it, like, something Steve Osborne. Um... Shit. I can't remember the name now. It wasn't Danger Steve Osborne. But yeah, Muscle, Muscle Steve Laser. Stone Cold Steve Austin. No, that wasn't it. Is this the right way? This is the wrong ass way. I'm just running from this shit because fuck me, I don't care. I don't care about your fucking gross ass piles of flesh and your devil man and your gross fucking chicken ball ass monster. Looks like chicken's balls already. Looks like a problem for someone else who wants to come down this cave sometime later. <laughs> Not me. Muscle Steve Laser's on out. We out of this fucking popsicle stand. We out of this underground fucking trench hole. Alright, let's talk to the man and keep fucking moving. Get us out of this shithole. Restart the engines. And then we have to go back because our airship's over on the other fucking side. Enjoy your physic. Go to cold, go, 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 go. The stratum's are usually rough. Keep going. Don't stop here. So yeah, we can come back to the ancient castle whenever we want. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Wee! Pew, 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 pew. Going too fast. Too fast for video games. We've broken it. We've broken the whole damn thing. Wait, I need to go to the sleep hole. Free sleeps. Can't pass it up. 
God, imagine having to pay to sleep. That would suck. I love sleep way too much for that. I'd fucking riot. Oh, that was like more screen shake than I was used to. I'd have a one-man fucking riot anywhere. Anywhere I was. Should we go do some- No! I was gonna say, should we go to Sue's- blah, 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 Do some Coliseum shit. No, we need to go do some, uh... Some auction-y shit. God, it's so bright, I can't see a damn thing. Where's the auction hole? Is this it? Come on, land, you some bitch. Nope. This is the Figaro hole. Should in the post-2050 world that someone will find a way to monetize sleep? Eh. I mean, you can get, like, like sensory deprivation chambers. You can just, like, sleep in one of those. And they're privileged slash right to sleep. That seems like a hard thing, a hard sell. Late stage capitalism. I sincerely doubt it. Wait, I don't, I don't want to fly over that, it'll make me go in. Or something, probably. Where the fuck is the place? Wait, if the opera house is over here, and that means the place north of the opera house, there might be something in that forest, actually. Hold up. Curiosity has struck me. I mean, late stage capitalism also implies. Uh, an eventual end to cap- Oh my god! Oh my god, kill them all! Kill them all! Jesus Christ. These still aren't as bad as the fucking- They're- these are nowhere near as bad as the fucking uh, Dark Souls Basilisks. Those things make me want to fucking, like, punch my own balls- Hey! There's a tortoise shield! We finally have one! Maybe? Maybe I should hang around here, steal a bunch of tortoise shields. Actually, I should check to see if they actually, like, absorb or resist water. So if I can get a couple tortoise shields, then we can just go and fucking lay the banhammer down on fucking Leviathan. Uh, yeah, tortoise shield, tortoise shield, gimme, gimme tortoise shield. It doesn't say anything about magic. It says crude turtle shell or er, water. Does the ice shield stop water? I don't know. I don't know, man. <sighs> Stole the name from a weird subreddit that is extremely cynical. Bit of an echo chamber full of examples. The uglier side of capitalism. Yeah, I see so much shit about people bitching about capitalism, but it's like. If you compare. Like, yes, if you compare it to, like, your imaginary utopia. Capitalism seems pretty bad. If you compare it to any other system ever tried, like, like, capitalism wins hands down. It's also gotten consistently better ever since it's been implemented. Like, capitalism back in, like, the turn of the century, you know, before unions and, like, workers' rights and shit like that, uh, is a whole lot worse than capitalism now. It's just like, yeah. Oh wait, this is the right place. I don't need to talk to you. Get the fuck out. I need a place to sell my shit. Holy fuck. Whoa, excuse me. Hold up. Jeez, that one snuck up on me. Gene looked at a stat. It's part of a set called the Imp Set. Let's do different shit. When you use them while Imped... Does this one give me water resist while imped? Because I'll be imped. Alright, let's see if we can hit 500,000 gil. I don't know if we have to do this twice. It's possible. Okay, let's start with armor, because we can't throw that shit. Even though I'm probably not going to end up throwing most of this stuff. I was like, oh yeah, cure shield, that sounds pretty bad. Let's sell that. It's like, I'd have to be a fucking idiot. Fucking sell all this shit. Yeah, golden shields are crap now. Diamond shields are crap now. We got crystal shields. And flame shields and four shields. 66, 66. Uh... Oh, it actually teaches imp. 
Hold up, it only has a 66 defense in him status? Or all of that when only in him status? Because if it absorbs water, that's all I care about. I, like, I don't care about the rest of the stats. The rest of its stats can be fucking negative for all I care. If it absorbs water, then we just beat Leviathan. <sighs> Priest Smite is kinda good. Fuck, what happened to all my shitty hats? I guess Golden Helm isn't any good anymore. Yeah, Beret's junk. Black Cowl, Tiger Mask. I don't really need the Tiger Mask. Don't really need the Twist Headband either. Red Cap's still pretty good. Mm, oh no, Priest Smiter is the MP, not the HP one. Yeah, get out of here. And Green Beret is not really worth keeping. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, now I can find better helmets. I'm not sure I really need Gaia gear anymore. Um, yeah, Power Sash can go. Only attacks that ignore Fang and Flail or Invict Death can harm them, making them practically invincible in the average battle, as any other attack would only do a single point of damage. Prison is a spear, it gets an attack bonus from Jump. Oh, the Imp Partisan is part of the Imp set. Ah, gotcha. It's a really bad fucking joke. Cotton robes, get out! Silk robes, get out! Keeping all the suits, because I need to trade those around in the, uh... ba 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 Coliseum. I am not gonna have enough money. <laughs> Keep the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm, probably don't need three silver spectacles. Keeping the, the mustache. The moustache. I don't need two alarm earrings. Ever. I am wary to give up some of the... I don't need five hyper risk. Holy fuck, those things are worth 4,000? I think I probably stole some of these, too. So two of them, uh, Ward Bangle, Prayer Beans, Penis Ring, Jewel Ring, Angel Ring, Ring with Ring, <laughs> Angel Ring, Wangel Ring, Brangel Ring. Equip on a Yeti and see what happens. That's an ominous message. Mentos Ring prevents zub. Dark Swirling Orb that absorbs ice damage. Equip on a Yeti and see what happens. Master Scroll so good. I don't need four Hermes sandals. I don't need three Dragoon boots. And a Twitter shield. One gill. Equip on the Yeti. Well, I know, like, the, the, the Berserker ring, like, sometimes he'll do, like, this fire attack instead of his regular attack, and the Blizzard orb, sometimes he'll do this ice attack instead. Just test the imp equipment without, with and without imp status. Beh. I don't think I have an imp partisan. Yeah, we're still like 10,000 or 100,000 gil away. Anyway, let's go steal us some shields. Pew! Where was it? It was right around here, yeah? Yeah! Right around here! I stole shit from the basilisks and then they died, but I was happy. Crawlers! Not what I want. Hmm. That's a lot of damage, I don't like that. Get out of here. Equipment consists of the end part is in Tortoise Shield, Saucer, and Reed Cloak. All I have is the the Tortoise Shield. I haven't seen any of that other shit. Hmm. Somebody present me. I don't appreciate it one stinky winky bit. Anybody go a little up here soon? Ooh. You actually, and Sap has still got the double bubble on, so he's like two thou, two thou away, a little less. On to Valley Galagarmanda for a little realmy poo. Was it in the forest or was it out of the forest? Great Mantis, cool. I'm killing you now. Watch as they like absorb fucking wind or something. Because they're like winged bugs or whatever. We're called Imp Halberd, Tortoise Shield, Titanium, and Imp Armor. Eh. 
Wait, 23? Whoa! Hold up. I did not expect that much experience. I was a fool. Zone of Seeker. From Tumble- I have no idea where the fuck I fight a Tumbleweed. But thank you. More Basilisks! Mm. Don't ask me why I did that. My brain did it. I am... Uh... What's the word? I'm innocent. Go ahead and steal, you son of a bitch! Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare, you absolute jackass. Take it! Okay, pretty sure I know where I can find a Tyrannosaur. Stop hitting my dudes! Wow, Luigi. Which is Muppet Yoda. Well, I mean, there is no other Yoda. F fucking CG Yoda is a lie. It's Muppet Yoda or GTFO. Oh god. No. Mm, gold needle. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where I found you. She makes a nice statue. Unfortunately, she makes a much better fucking party member. I guess it's technically fortunate, since she's not really still a statue and it was in fact an easy problem to fix. Would you steal these shields from these fucking gecko monsters? You better do it, Locke. Mug them to death. Is a derpy looking face? Yeah. Oh, we just obtained one. Okay. In that case, I'm not gonna try to mug them to death. I'll do the mugs when they happen, and other than that... I'll just, I'll just fucking hit them. I'll just fucking hit them with Sabin's fucking rotato potato. Uh, who's on what, and why are they there? Are you still learning shit? Get the fuck off. Uh, you go back to... Phoenix? Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix down. Uh, you fin it. What are you doing? Lakshmi. Stolen from Greater Mantis. Interesting. Ha, kid! Yep. I, like, I'm probably not gonna go for a fucking imp build. I was just thinking, like, for Leviathan. If I had to be imp for the water absorption, then I would. Okay, so they're both about to fucking level up again. Which means I just moved them off of shit. Now I gotta move them back onto shit. Buh. So I got two Toyota shields. Fuck. Whatever. Do your stuff, Muscle Steve Laser! Still didn't figure out the Steve Osborne thing. Whatever. They did. Good. Levels. And the thousand gil! I only have to do 99 more of those fights. And then we have all the money we need. I'm pretty sure there's mu there must be a relic that like doubles the amount of money you get. There must be. Must be. What am I doing? I'm putting different dudes on my dudes. Get back on Lack Attack. Maybe you should start learning Raiden or something. Because you can learn Kiraga on Phoenix faster than you can learn it. Yeah, yeah. Start learning Raiden. Raiden. Now that was a that was a terrible fucking. Uh. What was his name? Roy Campbell. That was a terrible Campbell impression. That's a lot of money fights. Money. It's also a terrible Balrog impression. Terrible impressions. Crawler, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, the poison. Stop. Stop smacking my dudes. Fucking dude smackers. Oh. They put bottles next to my name. How dare they? Unacceptable. They'll have to be purged. Just like the children. 
still hear their screams. Get out of here. I say get out of here, but really I'm the one running away. You know what? Sam, just kill him. Why, why am I running? Why am I running? I'll take less damage. Fucking, and get more out of it. Killing them. Yeah, we need ourselves a good purge of these plains, these prairies, the prairie purge. <laughs> That'd be an awful RPG. Get a purge going. I mean, this probably is. Eh. I mean, Poisona costs like, what, like 5 MP or whatever? These are not the monsters I'm looking for. Kill it. Ah, no, no feeler. <laughs> They're dead. I killed the shit out of them. Finally, hot dickery diggle dang. Learned raise. Ah, oh, my eyes. My lies. My lice. It's the lysovision. Impression I get is if Kafka was just left alone, he'd eventually obliterate the planet. Nah, cause he's a big puss wagon. He's a fucking nihilist who can't go through with it. He had a whole year on that tower and basically did fuck all with it. He talks the talk, but he can't walk the walk. Back on Vala. Being worse so much is he's just kind of an ultra powerful, hateful ass hat. Yeah, he's basically a, a deific nihilist who's too chicken shit to actually go through with destroying everything. <sighs> like I said, he'll talk the talk, but he won't walk the walk. Otherwise, the Earth wouldn't be here. It would already be gone. Like I said, after the big, like, carving and rearranging of shit, um, like, a year ago, at this point he doesn't want anything. It's like... It, 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 it's like... He doesn't find any meaning in anything, so he thinks everything should just be destroyed. But, like, that includes himself. And so he basically just can't go through with it, so he basically just, like, diddles himself with god powers on top of a garbage tower for all eternity. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, well since the steel chance is really low, and also, they sometimes drop them. The time to kill their fucking faces. No, they're still alive. Cool for them. He's not alive. Just reacting to whatever happens then? Basically, and yeah, if people are like, Wah, against Kefka, it'll just like smite them from his tower. You know, he's just like on a never ending, you know, sort of self torturous ego trip. Uh, okay, so Sabin's about to go bing bang boom and get another level. I was gonna say, I should probably switch that growth egg off of him, and then I looked and like Realm's still level 43 and Terra's level 42. Locks a bit behind now, but it's like. Give me the shield. You know what? I can do this later. I don't have to do Leviathan right now. I wasn't even fucking planning on doing Leviathan right now. I got goddamn distracted. Kill them all. Kill them all, Muscle Steve. Thank you. See, that was much, much, much better than fucking trying to run away. Oh, 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 some good things are happening. Okay, you get off of Zona Secret. What were you on? What were you on? What were you on? You were on writing. Any Final Fantasy villains that were more successful than Kafka? No. No, there aren't. He's, he's like, super all-powerful. Yeah, they failed. Everyone fails. 
Jack is not the primary antagonist, though. Like, Seymour, mostly, and then Yu Yevin kinda at the end. And both of them just got their asses kicked. Yu Yevin just, like, turned into some sort of god termite. Uh, what was I doing? Shit, what was I doing? Uh, you learned a thing, my dude. Yeah, Soul Spiral. Sacrifice itself to fully heal all other party members. So it brings them back from the dead, heals their HP full, heals their MP full, but Sabin dies and cannot be revived for the battle. Yeah. Like, Seymour also had a bit of the nihilistic thing going, but like, he was like, way dumber about it. Yeah, well, Sin is, you know, Yu Yevin, basically. Yeah. Well, it's not so bad, um, for the very final battle, if you're not, like, jacked to shit like I am. Like, if you're actually having trouble. Because the thing is, is, through the final battle, um, if a party member stays dead for long enough, they actually get swapped out for the next person in line. Um, so, like, you can have all 12 people participate in that battle. Um, so, like, what you can do is you can basically sacrifice Sab and bring everybody else back up. So, instead of three people getting swapped out, just Sab and gets swapped out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what his plan for that was. I Like, it's a terrible, it's a bad reason, but I know why Yuna wanted to go through with it. But... Yeah, I haven't played enough of Final Fantasy IX to really know. Didn't Kuja get, like, fucking, like, bitch slapped, like, right at the end, and then, like, a, another, other, more supervillain was revealed? Like, that was the fucking twist? It was like, ah, I'm an even more supervillain! Uh, what am I doing? People learned things. You are done here. Yeah, finish holy. Kuja's weird AF. Eh. Don't really care. Now, I also liked, like, despite how little actual characterization he gets, because, you know, it was on the NES, I really like um, Emperor Mattias Palamecia from Final Fantasy II. Because he's just a fucking boss. He keeps his fucking castle inside a tornado. And then, almost instantly upon death, he, simultakes, he simultaneously takes over both heaven and hell. And you have to go down there and fucking kill him. While a separate ghost party has to go up to heaven. And you have to kill both halves of him simultaneously. Like, it's pretty badass. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Anyone leveling? Oh, you leveling. You leveling. Okay, well, then I guess you're back to the zone of Mona. The great Ramona of times past. Just cool. Cool. We're all good. Nine's villains were Queen, Burr, Garland, Kuja, Beatrix, and some asset named Necron. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think we're going to the fucking tower. I think it's time to climb the Tower of Power. Wait, no, let. Oh, wait, no, we're not gonna do the Coliseum until we have enough money to get the thing. Climbing the Tower of Power. Yeah. Instantly, like, like, within minutes of him dying. Maybe hours, I don't quite remember. Like, this huge fucking castle from hell rises out of the ground. Um, it's the Castle Pandemonium. That's also, like, my favorite, like, endgame dungeon music is the Game Boy Advance version of the Pandemonium, of uh, Castle Pandemonium. Um, okay, so I need an all-magic party. Which means, get the fuck out my way. Change party members. So, I want Terra. I want Sellies. I want Realm. And I want Sabin. Because this magic stat is absurd. And he knows a lot of spells. He just knows a lot of spells. Okay. Unequip all members. 
Nipper, he's the rule of Palamecia that unleashes war on the world. He comes back to life after dying by splitting his soul with the powers of light and darkness, thus becoming the rule of heaven and hell himself. He's the main antagonist and the final boss. Yep. Final Fantasy 2 would fight God and Satan at the same time. Basically, basically, like I said, he's... Like I said, he doesn't get a whole lot of characterization. He's just like this evil emperor douchebag. Um, but yeah, he's a total fucking boss. Like, holy shit. Okay. So, you have trance, which means you have the better... Hmm, you can't attack anyway, so... What does it matter now that I think of it? Okay, put on an enhancer. Actually, wait, no. No, 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 Remove? Okay. No, let's do Sally's first, because I could get hers to 99. Put on an enhancer. Two tortoise shields. Does anything else have better magic evasion? Four shield does. Okay, well... That'll go on, um, her, uh, Terra. Female Dancer's Veil. I'm glad I didn't sell that. But hold up. So the Force Armor, yeah, the Force Armor by itself gets you to 99. You'll probably do fine with just the Oath Veil. Yeah. Okay, now hold up. I need to go and find... Because I bought the Enhancer from somewhere. Should have been relatively early-ish, I think. Okay, so it's like... Here, maybe? Would you fucking drop... They did remake FF2. It, on the Game Boy Advance! It's, um... It's really, really hard. It's some. It's really hard. Okay, not here. No, this is like the first town we find. I need like the second town, which should be up over here. Yeah. Can I land in the desert? No. Got the Final Fantasy Tizzy to go, and now I need to deal with the primary antagonist. Here's the real boss. Something out of left field. I mean, it doesn't do it that much. It's like, Final Fantasy IV is probably the most egregious one. Uh, it doesn't do that in five. it doesn't do that in six. it doesn't do that in seven. I don't know if it does that in eight. I guess it does it in nine. Um... It doesn't really do that in one. You just, like, assume you're gonna fight Chaos, and you do! And he is the final boss, but it turns out Chaos was also Garland the whole time. But, like, it's it's still chaos. It's still who you thought you were going to be fighting. Damn it. And it's like, 10 doesn't really do that. Uh, I don't know about 11. I don't know about 12. But, like, like two of them do that. Time traveling source. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, she, like, wants to collapse all of time or some bullshit. No, no, don't land, damn it. Wrong button. Unland. Take off. Uh, okay, so then... Kolingen, maybe, is where it was? God, I hope I find this place soon. Just give me one enhancer. Enhance me. Now. Natural male enhancement. I guess natural female enhancement through swords is exactly what I'm looking for here. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Enhance. Fucking CSI enhance that shit. Okay, so now we give you the enhancer. We give you the force shield. We give you the mist- wait, hold up, what, what do we have for armor that- none. Okay, we give you the Genji armor, because that's still highest magic defense yet. And we give you Le Mister Revel. A little lower on the magic defense in the Genji helm, but... Tactics Advance was that one kid 
I think. Yeah, I think it was mute. As far as I remember... <sighs> oh. yeah. Fuck. Got pretty high magic defense on that turtle. Turtle? Tortoise shield. Although these ones absorb other L. This one absorbs water, I mean. I don't know how much water spells are gonna be there. Then again, the rig. Yeah, fuck it. Put on a tortoise shield. Hold up. Realm, you can't wear. Oh, you can wear the Genji helm. Then by all means, please wear the Genji helm. You get the royal crown. Are we 165? Yeah, red jacket then. Behemoth suit. Yep. Best you got. She can wield the Gladius. Interesting. Mmm. Boost this wielder's magic. I'll take that. Holy fuck. Her magic stat is already 80 without items? Jesus. Jesus, please this. Second tortoise shield. God, it's also got good magic evasion. Yeah. 87, 99, 34, 69. Where are you getting all your magic evade from? Do you just have a high magic evade? How are you. How are you getting so much magic evade? Why doesn't he have a high magic evade? His magic's as high as yours is! Speed? No. No. All her stats are lower. Why is her magic evade so high? I don't understand. I'm confused. Wog. Okay, so everyone's fucking tip top ready to go. Relics! Sellies, you're level 36. Put on a growth egg. Put that egg on your face. Absorb its powers. Put it in your mouth. Okay. Sabin's got no- he, I don't think Sabin can blitz in the tower. So I think I'm gonna put a gold hairpin on him. Gold hairpin on you. Because I think those two actually have the highest magic stat. So after growth egg... White cape raises magic evasion by 10. Anything else raises magic evasion? Zephyr cloak does? Well, status immunity would also be pretty good. You know what? Actually, Sully's knows like the few spells. Put the status immunity on her. What else can we get that's good? Genji Glove doesn't help at all. Double gold hairpins, one quarter MP cost. Wait, where's the second? Oh, duh. Already put it on. Maybe even more legendary Vija legendary and grab my Can't even fucking speak. Hot Christ. Boost physical and magical power, sure. Wait, no 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 no. You wait. Okay, no, you don't get the ribbon. I want these people with not max fucking Yeah, put on the Zephyr cloak. You too. Put on a Zephyr Cloak. Dodge that shit. Okay. And so I guess you'll get a... Uh, no, I don't want to give her a gold hairpin. Okay. Gotta re-figure this shit out. Where is it? it... Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't replace the gold hairpins. Uh. Okay, in that case, uh, well, Terra's got nothing on her, so let's give her double earrings. Let's give her maximum power. Ooh, the power of jewelry. Jewelry. Or jewelry, whichever. It matters not to me. Ugh, Muscle Steve is gonna take down this fucking tower, just you watch. Uh, I guess we'll give her the ribbon. Sure. 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 Why not? What are you learning? What are you learning there, Tara? What are you learning? God, these menus. Can't handle them. 
Alexander! Oh, Alexander! The sky is open! I can see God! <laughs> In your fly hole. Uh, <laughs> um, Seven, what, what are you doing? Raiden. Do Kefka says, is there a main party that you have to pick early on to fight Kefka? I think you pick the whole order of all 12 members. Because uh, all three parties, like, get there at the same time. Or you might pick one party. I don't remember. Oh, seven muscles. Oh, it's like a deep, a, a slightly deeper version of the fucking Felix the Cat from the Felix the Cat movie. Come on, Craig, do your stuff. And his eyes turn into X's, and then uh, he has the tools to perform his vasectomy. Felix the vasectomy cat. Yeah, that- that would sell. That would be a cartoon. I hit the wrong fucking button. Haha, <laughs> yeah, the Felix the Cat movie? Yeah, that's, uh... That was the thing. Who is the boss? The Duke of Zool, of course. Of course. Gotta try to make it rhyme, even though it really doesn't rhyme. Uh, what order do we want these these focals in? Um, I guess the road doesn't matter since everyone will be getting blasted by magic. Blasted by blagic. Sullies, your MP isn't even full. How dare you come unprepared? I bring you into this party and you just shit on my dreams. Hmm. I don't know what that is, it's like a, like a really bad George Lucas. Just shit on my dreams, Sullies. Oh, shit on me in my dreams, Sullies. Oh. <laughs> Instant lawsuit. George Lucas don't give a fuck, he'll sue anybody. Wait. Save the game for real, though. We got the power. We got the moves. We got the... This is the guy that has that piece of advice that he wanted me to pay 10,000 gil for, or 100,000 gil, and I didn't have it at the time. I completely forgot about that. Well, now that we've got the power of, uh, the ancient quickie save. Oh, thanks, you're too generous. Right, the scoop. There's an ancient castle buried beneath the desert of Figaro, no doubt loaded with treasures. By the way, I heard the old man who lives in the weapon shop in Narsh was looking for you. I know both of those things already. I did them. Bitch, me outy. Can I can I join you guys in your fucking your march, your dance, your chant, your ritual? They got little smiley faces on the front of their hoods. Look, it's a little smile face. I doubt that was intentional. This guy's just like treasure, treasure. There's a dragon up here too, and all I can I can't I can't fucking spin to win bum rush him. There's, like, secret doors here, too. Level 10 magic, level 20 magic. I don't know which is which. Magic. Mmm, bio. Ow. Magic. Uh, Bizarra. Magic. Thumbdog. Oh! We're doing this bullshit, then. <laughs> Bitch, I got 97% magic evade. Bitch, she has 99 magic evade! Hold up. Where the fuck is Reflect? Who, who am I on? Do you have Reflect? Everybody's the same fucking thing, so I can't tell. Please tell me someone here has Reflect. Hold up, did I see it on the left? Okay. Here. You know what? I got a fucking present for you. I'm gonna put Reflect on Realm. Because he has been... Don't ban... 
So if I hit him with a thing, he bounces it back to me. Here, have this. I'm an idiot. I had to cast that on myself, not him. <laughs> the developer stopped giving a shit about names. His name at level 10 magic. Hold up. First off, yeah, fuck that fight. A person that. Hold up. Hold up. Ultima's unreflectable! <laughs> mm, I'm like, I might want to stock up on ethers. But nah, fuck it. Just go hard in the paint. It is the ultimate attack spell. Hey guys! I got something cool for you! Tell me what you think about it! No! Ow! Uh, yeah, give me a critique on this new spell I've been working on. Um, I call it Instagiga Death Die. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's that good, huh? It's that good. You liked it? No experience. Which means, just AP, which means you get the fuck off of that. Learn whatever the fuck you were learning. Yeah. Um, who took damage? Sabina. Is anybody on Phoenix right now? No, get on Phoenix and finish that Kiraga. Everyone else is on other shit. Oh, my idiot brain. Okay. Never mind. Sabin, get off of Phoenix. Keep learning quick. Quick is so good. So good. Sellies, get on Phoenix. So for Kakarot. Put all my MP into this attack spell. Does more damage, more MP. You can pump into it. I'm sure there's a spell like that somewhere. In one of the Final Fantasies. I'm just like mashing the A button, because like I know there's like some secret entrances or shit on the floor somewhere here. Awesome level 30 magic. You think this is lazy naming? You should see there's a. Uh... Wait, no. You're who I want. In the fucking ancient library in Final Fantasy V, all the enemies there are named like. Page 16, page 32, page 64, page 128. They're all powers of two. A goodbye! A goodbye, ladies! A goodbye! Have fun in the Shadow Realm. They won't. Nobody does. Have fun in the Phantom Zone. Ah, there's a door. Filled with treasure. This is gonna drop me somewhere. Monster in a box? Wait, what did the safety bit do? I remember that being a good thing. Like a real, real, real good relic. Petrification, right, it's like the only thing that prevents zombie and instant death stuff. The safety bit. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good piece of gear. I mean, you're placed around with Locke, and this looks like it'd be the perfect final party for a lot of reasons. Well, yeah, because we need... Because I'll probably, like, way after the fact, I'll probably end up coming back to this and doing all the extra stuff that was added to the Game Boy Advance version. Um, and, like, that shit is hard as fuck. Um, like, way, way harder than the default game stuff. Um, and, like, you can steal ultimate weapons off of the different tiers of the final battle. So, yeah, having Locke is definitely a must, because I'm going to want to do that. for the post-game shit. And, like, you can keep going through the final battle and doing it over and over again, so you can get, like, as many Ragnaroks as you want, and then you just start chucking them with Shadow. I remember this place being a real son of a bitch. But I was- I also, you know, didn't know how to fucking completely break the shit out of this game before. Uh, I should've healed Sabin. I mean... Muscle Steve. See? Her magic's not high enough. Cause that didn't do 9999 when split three ways. 
All right, so you're done learning your holy 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 -o. Midgard Storm is pretty good, but not that great. I'd rather get like, oh, she doesn't. She doesn't know haste? She doesn't know haste? Everyone knows fucking haste. Umaru plot probably knows haste. You just can't cast the damn thing. All right, well, whatever. I wanted to put that on her anyway, so she could learn like haste to and all that kookum skookum. Uh, beepity bop bop beep. You didn't teach her haste. Eric O, shut up. I know what I did. I know what I do. I'm a man of my word. That word is jicama. Which is apparently some kind of like strange vegetable. I just like the sound of it and the fact that it's spelled with a J. Hello, level 50 magic. How are you today? Are you hungry for some punishment? Because boy, I got a healthy serving of that. You know, let's just put a holy on him too. Just in case. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I guess she would learn those since they were times 20. Um, I need to, before I get to the top, I actually don't even need to use ethers. So I can just Osmos off of some of these dudes. Because, like, obviously they have fucking MP pools. They're casting shit. But, uh, they're also dangerous as fuck. So, I think for now, I'm just gonna. Goodbye. So, there's Lynn Kiraga. Fools blow me, but you never overcome my power. Jesus Christ, is that Ultima? Yeah. It's not just Ultima, it's Ultima. On a roided out 11 year old. 87 magic. 87 magic. So much magic. Maxa magic. Uh, you just learned a finger dinger. Many more finger dingers left to learn. Okay, and one of these rooms is the room with the whatever dragons in this tower. Get the shield! Uh, let's, uh, let's inspect this here again, Shield. Not as good on the magic stats, but otherwise pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Won't be putting it on here, but... What? Yeah, oh, level 60 magic. Oh, I think that's that thing in the back, is the level 60 magic. Which is the same model as, um, the boss that blocked our way when we were trying to escape the floating continent. See, look at that! This is like, <laughs> Magic evade in the high 90s. I think you might be fucked when you try to cast. You get fucking dunked by an 11 year old. Just like Perfect Cell. Poor, poor Perfect Cell. Man, I can't wait till episode 60 comes out. It's gonna fucking rock my balls off. You also learned a new flimity flam fire spell. Look fabulous as hell though, they were getting their pose on. They were. That's like their that's like their casting pose. A single level 50 magic sent to defeat me. <laughs> Eat the shit. Good for you, you know as soon. Congratulations. Welcome to hell. Like it was five, six episodes worth? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Then it's just a whole shitload of editing. Well, sound recording and then editing. But the, the part that takes a whole shitload is the editing. Woo! Ooh, we got some Rexol looking motherfuckers in here. Howdy, howdy! So glad of you to join us. Now die. Die like swain. Go to the shadow hug. Get mega fucked. I'm just gonna like blast this and hope they don't have reflect. Goodbye. I like the background here, there's like that weird dark shadow in the corner. The Tower of Power! 
fuck. I was like, oh, I should probably quick save a bit just in case there's uh, some kind of mega dragon. Fight me. Fight me, dragon. Holy dragon. Ooh, a holy dragon, huh? I heard about you. Oh, you casting holy, eh? How's that gonna work out for ya? Oh, actually, that might hurt. Ow. Would you stop this? Would you stop this madness? Fuck. Okay. It, okay. Oh, can you please stop? Okay, he's getting one off on everybody. I'm holy. You are nothing. May not, nothing but nothing is in it. And so is my power. Hold up, hold up. I, I can't read chat right now, he's doing shit. Did you kiss cast slow? Did she not block that? Or did she block that? Uh, who is this? Yeah, Terra. Um, fix Sellies. I think Savin's fixing himself. Well, that did it. Oh, he used a spell. I don't envy Kaiser at all. He has 90% of that shit himself, especially his lip flaps. Enjoy his episode breakdowns. I also enjoyed post episode podcasts that they do to discuss each episode, but that stuff forever ago. Some of which are lost to the ages. Oh, that's a bummer. I never watched any of that stuff. Learned Arise. Oh, baby. We got it a holy dance. It's a Mega Man. Quite arousing. What's in the box? Kaganui. I don't know what that is. Oh god, there's holes. Oh, all the things I sold. Okay, fine, sort it. I'm assuming it's a weapon of some kind. Murakumo, Murasame. Okay, so I can throw those. Heavy Lance, Holy Lance, Golden Spear. May cast Holy. Warning, may cast Holy. Ah, ooh, ah, very good. I like these. I like what's happening here. I enjoy the sequence of events. It said two dragons left at the end, right? That means the only two left are the two that are uh, in Kepka's tower. We've found all the dragons. Did you cast poison on me or bio or some shit? No. Oh. No. Well, it's just AP, he'll be fine. And an Aether! Good. Uh, I don't have it. Oh, uh, somebody here must know Poisana, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Uh, use a Fwenix down. More like Fwenix up. <laughs> Linux up. They should, they should, somebody should make a version of Linux called Phoenix down for... Hold up, did his one cure just heal like 900 health? Hot damn. Hot damn. 1100 HP. It's a big cure. It's a lot of magic. Milikey. I glad. Hold up. You good on your shit? Yeah. You good on your shit? Nope. Yeah. You good on your shit, Muscle Steve? Yeah. You good on your shit, Dad? Yeah. Wait, that was the thing I wanted to do. Jam the child with drugs. Here, have some ether. You'll be fine. <laughs> level 36 cure is stronger than your level 20 Kiraga. Bitch, no one in my party had Kiraga at level 20. Fucking four hours ago, I didn't even have any espers that taught Kiraga. Or maybe more like six hours. I don't mean like six hours ago in real time, but like six hours of gameplay ago. <laughs> no muscle Steven Hartama. Really nobody block that shit? Wait, why the fuck is Terra glowing? What is this glow? Why is she glow? I have the growth egg on Sally's and I'm not even gaining experience. Hold up. First of all, why you glow? Maybe it's the Genji armor? It's the only thing that's changed. 
Second thing, Brofeg. No good. Magic Evasion over 100. No. <sighs> you know what? Increased frequency of preemptive strikes it means more often that Realm will be able to just blast Ultima before they can even touch me. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that very much, thank you. Enhance your power. Go higher. Oh god, this tower's still going. Yeah, the worst thing that can fucking happen up here is getting silenced. <laughs> yeah, it fucking worked, bitch. Eat the Ultima. Level 80 and 90 magic. Jeez. Um. Well, they dead now. Oh, fuck, they're not dead now. Panic, 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 panic. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Uh. Okay, she's fine. Oh, good. Good. Now I know what Meteor looks like. Ow. Okay, thank god. I think the tortoise shield- oh no, that's because of his red cap. We got haste gun, somebody. Hmm. I get a little tougher. Just a little tougher. Didn't, uh, didn't quite die in one hit, like I expected. Like has been the regular so far. Uh, somebody finished on their Esper. Good job. Good job, Tara. You finished it. All by yourself. Congratulations. So proud. Fucking learn Midgard Stormer, I guess. I don't really give a fuck. Tara. Get on. Get out of here. Climb the tower. 90 and 60. 60, 90. <sighs> Am I right? Am I right? Chumps. Am I right, boyos? Am I right, boyos? That's what Curry would say. Hmm. Hmm. Eat my big magic dick. Wow. It's circular, semicircular. Don't worry, it's a medical condition. Don't make fun of me. It's just like a big semicircular wang. God. No thanks. I'll uh, I'll go without. More force armor. Hold up. Hold up. Somebody's not wearing some force armor. Yes. <laughs> the last thing they ever see before going to, going to whatever is beyond. Not just magic wang, semicircular wang. I guess that's where wizards get their power. Either, either wizards as like you know, a collection of magical individuals, or wizards as in the company Wizards of the Coast. Fuck you and your big magic spells. Ow, my whole brain ball. Stop it. I'm going to cast Ultima now. You're going to die from it. Level 90's been there. This is like the third fucking fight against a magic level 90. Uh, they're his worshippers. Not necessarily servants, per se. He doesn't really need servants since he's, like, basically omnipotent. 10 magic AP, Realm Learn Thunder. Like, these are a fuck ton of random ultra powerful dudes. Yeah, I mean, they've just been sitting here practicing their. It's like me! Like, I've been sitting here, like, leveling up, fucking swapping espers around. They've just been sitting up here, like, practicing the shit out of their magic for the last year. So, like, they're, they're fucking. Pumped and crunched and ready to rock. Valley Garmin. What do you want now? What do we teach you? Learn your Phoenix. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. 
Get more histiga, histiga, histectomy. Pick a little ding. Dastardly spell hole. That's what I call my anus. <laughs> the dastardly spell hole. I spent a whole year trying to go on last week. That's a great line. That's a great line. God, look at the fucking clouds and the torment. And I'm pretty sure this is the only place in the game where this music plays and it's just like this constant droning and chanting. Fuck. We about to go in. We about to go in deep. Yeah. Obtained. Soul of Thamasa. I'm gonna equip that, uh, right damn ass now. Hey Zephyrcloak, uh, I know you're cool and all, but, uh... Yeah, this is basically gonna be stapled to Realm's head for the rest of the game. Inside is literally just a single dog, the annoying dog. Yeah, I'd be pretty fucking pissed, since I know what's supposed to be up here, which is... If you, if you, well, I guess, I guess for you it's, it's up there. If you read what that says... Mmm. Mmm. Changes the magic command to dual cast, you say? Mmm. Sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, once I teach her quick, like, like, I have, I now have two of the four pieces necessary. Um, or I should say three of the five pieces necessary for the ten Ultima Wombo Combo. The only other two pieces I need are a Celestriad, and for Realm to know quick, and then... I mean, technically I don't even need the Celestriad to do it, it just makes it cost 6 MP instead of, like, way more than that. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna become the new god of this world. I mean, I could probably solo- well... No, there are definitely ways that she could die. Having just one person can be rough in the Kefka fight, just because he does throw a whole lot of shit at you. He did the fucking Heartless Angels first, before Kefka did the fucking blam, all your HP and MPs at one. And, like, that hits the whole party. Like, he- he does that. Make stories that detail what the fuck the worlds are like when they are hyper-powerful endgame people have no more turbo boss to kill. They're just gonna just chill out. You know, just play, uh, Final Fantasy IV, the after years. Or don't. Spoilers, don't play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. It's like... It's like if somebody made a bad Final Fantasy IV fan game. Okay, here it is. I knew there was a boss. They coming. Hey boys, uh... How's it going? So, uh... I found your treasure. Lord Kafka's treasure. Return the treasure. Oh god. I can't. It won't let me. <laughs> It's coming! It's coming for me, I can't escape. Get me out! 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 Just blast him! Blast him with the ultimate spell! Blast him with magic! Fuck. This is like the big guy. Yeah. The magic master. Uh. God, he probably has reflect up. Uh. Just defend. Not that it. I'm not sure it actually does anything. Fuck. Uh, Sellies! Did you learn Arise yet? And you know Ultima. Okay. So our damage dealers are Realm and Terra, and our healers are Sellies and Sabin. Hey, I don't give a fuck about your barrier change, boy! I'm just gonna hit you with Ultima. Sorry, you, you put in a lot of text. Uh, just they need to make that. Kefka does hyper death before Kefka. Every single one of them wearing a smiley face hat. Makes sense since Kefka's like a clown, gets spooked. Throw Phoenix down at it. I've mastered magic, fool. Yeah, he really hasn't. Not like I have. Yeah, he changes his fucking barrier every time you hit him with a spell. Which is fucking dumb as shit. Oh god. Am I gonna need to heal this? Nope. Eh, a little bit. We'll make Sabin do it. Arise is such a good fucking spell. Just fucking trash this man. Okay, put a cure on her. Who's this? Sellies. 
I guess I'll just have to defend because I want to get- whoops! So you said magic being in the second slot because I want to get another Ultima out. Now the real question is, how, how much health does this man have? Because that was Ultima number 4, so that's 40,000. Uh, does he have 50,000 health? I mean, technically it's like 49,995. He's got at least 50,000 health. Does he? Do I hear 60? Okay, where are we looking? Wowzers. Okay. Wait. Wait, did he just dual cast? Okay. Um, I don't care. Blast him anyway. Sully's is still alive. Oh. Oh no. A lot of my- mmm. Hey, uh... Can you, uh... You're dead, aren't you? I see! So the trick is... Cast, uh... Cast re-raise! You know re-raise? Anybody else know re-raise? You don't know re-raise. You don't know re-raise. Yeah! Maybe have Realm start off the fight with a double re-raise on uh, herself and Terra. So they didn't seem to have much troubles not dying. Um, maybe feed a few more ethers to some party members. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, we sing the song and dance, and then the ghost comes out, give the treasure, blah 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 blah. Ghost! I am the ghost! Scary. That finger wag. Alright, well, we got you this time, bitch. Okay, heal him up. Uh, just defend. Okay, so I want. Re raise on me, re raise on you. The wiki. Oh, and it says, like, have 5,000 health or some bullshit. Another way to stop Magic Master from casting Ultima is to damage its MP with Rasm and Osmos, which will kill it when its MP reaches zero. Considering Magic Master's high MP, this would take at least half an hour. He has 50,000 MP. Good to know. Okay, well, since you two are waiting and casting and shit. Ow. <laughs> Bitch. And now we get the Ultima train rolling. It would be tedious as hell. And like while he's also casting all this bullshit. But if you do like way later when you got way more health and your cure, cure spells are way more powerful and you can like put shell on other people. He might cast dispel but I don't know and I don't care. Like I could put shell on... Actually yeah why don't I have... Sabin you're not doing anything. Fucking put shell on. May as well. Oh, that, that was uh, my Ultima, not his Ultima. I was like, oh fuck, Ultima already. All he's doing is just changing his barrier. Look at this goofy motherfucker. Does he look, does his, the profile of his face and his haircut, does he look a little bit like Balthier? And like his pants and his, like obviously he's got like extra shit on the shoulders and like all the, a bunch of goofy shit like that. He did not get a chance to put shell on. Disappointed! Well, Sully's will get shell. Looks a little like Balthier. Both very fancy dudes, it's true. There's one I'd like to actually beat, Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, 9 and 12. 3, eventually, I guess. Just keep blasting the man. Put the man on blast. Do not give him a fucking moment to breathe. Okay, heal yourself, Sellies. Now that you're shelled up. They have the same glow. Uh, maybe the Genji armor automatically puts shell on Terra? This first two to four hours always break my will. Hmm. I don't remember enough. Okay, here we go. Looks like Sellies is dead. Aha! Uh -huh. But I have re-raise! 
So you can get fucked. I come back from the dead when I die. What do you do? You stay dead. I'm learned imp and slow. Why? Mega elixir. And that's just it. Day day. Imp and slow. Is there an imp on this? Did it say imp or haste? Was my did my brain get confused? No, you learned haste off a of carbuncle. You already knew haste. Must have. Probably. Tortoise shield. Tortoise shield. That's why she learned imp. Hey, the two protagonists way too much. I'm bitter over the intro. I was 100% down with the initial character you play as being the main character, and then we with being betrayed by his former commander, and said you get his money. See, the thing is, it's like. Yeah, fucking. Shit, what's his name even? I forget his name. Vaughn. Like, Vaughn's. Vaughn's, like, way less annoying than Titus. Like. And you could just. Like. After, like, the first fifth of the game, like, he he's barely even in the game. Like, you can just, like, keep him out of your party, and, like, he just, like, kind of makes a comment or two here or there. But most of the story surrounding, like, Balthier and What's-Her-Face, the princess, it's like, Vaughn and Pinello don't even need to be there. Like, they're really, really softcore versions of Titus and Riku. Uh, what am I doing? I'm bringing my people back from the dead. Or not, like I said, it says KO. Cures KO status is what Phoenix Down says, and on their name it said KO. They're just knocked out. They're not fucking dead. Phoenix Downs don't cure the goddamn dead. I fucking hate that shit. Ooh, a top ten charms and bullshit happening in video games. At the time they didn't use a Phoenix Down on Ares. Or they'll say Aerith, and I'm just like, one, get fucked, two, fuck you. And like, yeah. Uh, teleport on out? Teleportemando. Please tell me. Maybe it's because I'm at the top? Let me, let me out. Somebody fly the airship up to the top and just let me, let's put down a ladder or something. Can I teleport out now? Why do I have to climb all the way down? Why? I hate this. Hey! Guess what, bitches? Now you die in, in one turn again. Get... Did she just cast re-raise on me? Get... Fucked. Sabin learned quick. Huh, <laughs> get it? That's like a pun. It's like you're a quick learner, you learn quick. Just as party is defeated? Oh, when all your guys get KO'd? Yeah. Well, because I assume if they knocked you all out, they're probably gonna kill you at that point. Because, like, why not? <sighs> Seven really doesn't need to learn... Wait, no, I'm an idiot. Yeah, Seven... I was like, Seven doesn't need to learn ultimate, because he can just phantom rush everything, but I'm like... Mm, three of the four tiers in Kefka are all multi-target, and Ragnarok just shits on everybody. You should smack me for what? You'll have to be more specific. Uh, you're learning... You know, I don't care about you learning Midgard Stormer that much. Yeah, get the quickness. The quickness! The quick Silva. The lickety split. Speed time. I think Seven of the Phoenix down says restores life as a description. What pun? What pun did I do? It's already gone from my brain. My brain is empty of puns. Oh, meteor power. Oh no. Must kill the meteor man. Oh, Sabin learns quick. To be fair, it's it, the game said it. Sabin learned quick is what it fucking said. That's not on me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh. Hmm. Realm, you need a little help. You need to get some ethers in you. <laughs> Give her the ethers. Meteor Swarm, Jesus. 
It was like, Meteor, quick! Oh, your party's dead. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, no. Yeah, well, guess what? I can do the same shit. <laughs> Wait, did she try to cast death on me or some shit? I didn't see what that effect was. Learn float. Learn re-rails. Perfect, perfect. Who went float, Terra? No. Who's on quick a dig a diggle You are. Who else learned what else? Something. Not you. Ah, we raised. Good. Good. Why is so little Vader? Yeah, I, I can't do a I can't do a palpatine a palpatine impression to save my goddamn life. Okay, here's a Raiden, Ragnarok, that's all good. I guess we'll start learning holy. Sick. Sick biscuits. Where am I? There I am. We already went through all this shit. Just like Continuous quick saving, in case bullshit happens. Did we get a quick go? And now we're gonna die! We're dying like swine! Captain Swine, who's not in this party, but he will be. What was it? I think it was Final Fantasy V, where the Moogles like, kinda look like they had pig noses. You just want the mechanical implementation of Rocks Fall, everyone dies. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I had more health, because like you can get way more health than the damage that dealt. I couldn't get much more magic defense though. My party's pretty jacked on the M defense, on the M def, on the fucking fuck that. Yeah, that is what it's called in, in League of Legends. It's just magic defense. It's armor. Is it? I don't even remember. Spell penetration, armor penetration. Yeah, it's just magic defense, right? Stop it! Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, Osmos, and then heal. Go up faster, please. Oh, hardly anyone needs healing. Fuck, they're doing things. Wait, wait, no. Dual cast cure on yourself. Fucking Osmos on this man. Terra. Blast him. Magic resistance. Yeah, that's it. Osmos, please don't have reflex. Or some bullshit. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Yeah! Hey! That's not very fair. That's no fun. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Hashtag worth. Um, I don't know. Stephen, do something. I don't care. They're dead. Hold up. It's Terra's. It's Terra's. Sally's turned to spell. Do you have some equipment that you use you some bullshit? Probably. It's Terra the higher magic stat. No. How did hers do 999 against three targets? When realms would not. Earrings. It doesn't show up on the stats. That's why earrings. I figured it out instantly. It's a, it's a Doc Scratch quote. Never mind, I figured it out instantly. Got a good battle theme going on right here. Mm -mm, you sure did hit that man with lightning. I did not appreciate it. Not a little bit. I think today I'm gonna kill y'all. Uh, I don't really need to use two ultimates here, so I'm not quite so sure what to do. Hey, Realm, if you'd uh, be a darling and uh. Blast these assholes back to hell. That might have been of you. I guess I could have had her cast poison or something. Terra, your MP. No. Whatever. She can cast Osmos too. She'll be fine. Okay, this is like the second last fucking tower level or something. Oh, are these the ones that want elixirs? That's the exact same sprite as Final Fantasy V. 
Hold up. It might be Ether. It might be Elixir. And it'll give like a hundred AP. Nope. Alright, blast him. She's just like uh, Ultima and then Osmos. Or Osmos and then Ultima, really. Thanks for all the stuff, but... Hold up. Hold up. No, 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 You don't, you don't get to run away that easy. I want to see what two Ultimas does. Oh. The first one killed them. That's weird. I guess, like, instead of dying, they'll flee unless they can't because of the fact that, like, another command has to go through. Weird. Too strong indeed. But no, there was, uh, I think it was the Phoenix Tower in Final Fantasy V, where every ten floors, there would be two different jars. Like, one of them would be a, a battle, you'd have to pick one, and another one, it would be, a, like, a battle with some other monsters, and the other one would be a battle with, like, one of those magic jars. And it wasn't a 100% chance, but if you gave it an elixir, it would, like, die and then give you 100 AP. Like, you could level up your classes so fucking fast. So I assumed that this would be, like, the same sort of thing, but... Oh, well. Get dunked. Oh, why are you using such a low-level spell? Well, Realms learned her magic. Oh, didn't even get poisoned. Bitchin'. Bitchin' in the kitchen. Just like old Mima. No, don't still Kate Sith. Don't learn that bullshit. So you got Ragnarok, you don't have Raiden. Lakshmi, don't have Alexander, you got Velvet Gluglug. I guess start on Midgard Stormer. Not that I think you'll use it much, but yeah, it's spells is spells. Spells is spells, dog. Okay, so we're gonna start with Osmos and finish with Ultima. God, there's so many. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with this fucking. Hmm. Wait, what did he cast? Did he cast Reflect? I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, it does matter for Osmos. As he get Reverse Osmos. Told his first mistake was worshipping some insane 30-something clown dude when they should worship a foul-mouthed 11-year-old. Wait, what happened? A moon appeared above her head, and I got confused. Did the Osmos go off? Uh, I don't think Kefka's actually that old. I think he's actually, like, very early 20s. But I could be wrong. Oh, Sabin, your health hole. It's bad. Whoops. No, don't cast Banish. Oh, no. Sabino. He's a daddy. He's a daddy daddy. Don't you blast my girl. She'll blast you back. And then you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry you ever missed. With the realm. Huh, Phoenix down. Thanks, buddy. By buddy, I mean me, I guess. Because I'm the one that... <gasps> Realm's poisoned. We have to fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it. Nope. Not muscle. Not muscle Steve Laser. Are there any other gods besides Kefka? Well, technically the, the Warring Triad were gods, but he just kind of like slurped up their power. Not unlike the Slurpster would. There's nothing he can't slurp. Don't take that as a, a canon statement of fact. Huh! It's, a, it's two o'clock now, but I'm getting to the bottom of this fucking tower. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Okay, fine, Terra, you do it. You can't do it, Terra. Osmo's a bitch. Uh, that guy's got reflect on him, I think. And then you. Uh, yeah, I don't think you got Osmo's either. 
to go off. Did somebody get a holy? No, you did. I think the song is two or three minutes in length. Introduction to the main part and the ending, but for Dancing Mad, I didn't really put a stop on it, so I kept on working on it, working on it, working on it. I really let the song you know. I got to play around with it for something like 14 minutes, and it's really one of my favorites. Wild Dance of a Calamitous Star. I mean, it is really good. It's only 14 minutes, because the... Hey. Wow. Rude. Also, you missed, bitch. You missed me, bitch. And bitch, I don't miss. Uh, Realm's not learning any magic right now. We should fix that. Yeah, Dancing Mad is like... It's like the best final boss theme, period. It's incredible. Like, One Winged Angel is really, really good. It's really, really good. But like like everything else in Final Fantasy VII, like a lot of the stuff, it's just like, mm, not quite as good as how Six did it. Six did it first. I mean, obviously, as far as like that theme, they're, they're different. I mean, One Winged Angel's pretty long, but it's not like that long. Uh, right, 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 she's got two swap. Oh, wait, no, I did. She's learning things. I'm an idiot. I already did the thing I thought I needed to do. Fuck this fucking tower. I have to climb all the way down. Where are the sprint shoes? Why didn't I ever buy those fucking shoes? Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? I remember you from the start of this fucking journey. And now... We're all gonna die. Goodbye, assholes. So we learned holy. Cool. Cool. Sullies. Sullies. Holy moly. Get it? Uh huh. Sullies. You learned it. You're the best. And now, uh, realm, uh, get off that limo and learn some holy. Holy moly. We'll have two holy chicks. In fact, we already have two holy chicks, because Terano's holy. Triple holy. That's uh, that's what we call a holy moly down south. Because moles come in threes down south. It makes perfect sense down there, tr trust me. This reminds me a little bit of Cecil becoming a paladin. You had to climb that biggest mountain and climb all the way back down, except I guess in that case you restarted as a level one paladin. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Final Fantasy IV is pretty good, but it's not. I think I like five. Well, I definitely like six better. I think I like five better too. Although I haven't played it in so long, I should go back. Cause I played five more recently. Cause I actually streamed through five, like a year ago or something. Just fill her up, cure up her hit point pool. I want to swim in a hit point pool. I wonder what it would be like. How do you, uh, what does a hit point look like, or feel like, or taste like, or smell like? It's just like a gaming abstraction. These are the questions. The questions for the next generation. Hmm. Realm also learned to spell somehow. Thank Christ on a cracker. She can't betray you. He only betrays you, like, once or twice, maybe? Maybe twice? Anyway. Hot fuck. Oh, as always, the links down below to follow shit. YouTube has things you can watch, like previous episode. The other thing is let you know when I'm about to go live, like Twitter and Tumblr and all that hoopla. Have a good night.